Good afternoon. Welcome to This Is Now. We begin on the Valley Isle where the State Water Commission is meeting in Wailuku and residents and water rights advocates have packed the room. Yeah, this comes after the state's most powerful land and water executive visited the Maui Valley at the center of the controversy over wildfires and water. My Ohana not only uses the river for aloe patches, which, by the way, due to the water quantity, we're not able to open all of our patches that we have ready, but had to use the water in the river as a way to fight fire because of where we are located in Kaula. Enough is enough. The amount of photos and videos that I have of Kaula running dry or dangerous low is ridiculous. Give us the time to go through this particular winter season. Because if the natural flow of water can help uh, recharge that dry section and create the saturation level we need, then you will see that the water, if you, uh, at the point of restoration, at the diversion point, will be able to traverse through that dry point all the way down to the ocean. And I say this with full confidence because as a Kaula uh, resident with my kuleana, we watch the stream like hawks. Kaua'ula residents say water was abundant in the area before the stream was diverted. They're hoping DLNR Chair Don Chang considers directing and restoring more water to the stream. Now, the valley has been the scene of two major wildfires since 2018. Our Daryl Huff is covering this story on Maui today, and we'll have much more from the meeting coming up on later editions of Hawaii News Now.